Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of squares and square roots, we shall be taking a question in which we have to find the square root of numbers which are in decimal form and we shall be using long division method to solve such questions. So let's start. Now the question is find the square root of 0.053361 and 0.005361. Now both these numbers are in decimal form we have to find their square root using long division method. Now first step of long division method is to form the pairs. Since these are decimal numbers, they have whole number part. They also have decimal part. In between they have a decimal point. Whole number part and decimal part. Right? For the whole number part, we will start forming the pairs from the right towards the left. And for the decimal part, we will start making the pairs from the left towards the right. So this is how we form the pairs. Now in this number, the whole number part is only zero. This is only one digit we have. So one pair or one period is zero only, the first period. Then after the decimal point, we will have 0, 05, 33, 61. Now total number of periods, we have got four over here. That means total number of digits in the square root of this number will also be four. Remember this number of periods define the number of digits which we will have in the square root of that particular number. So this number has four periods. So number of digits in the square root will also be four. Okay. Now we shall start with long division process starting with the first period that is zero. Now you have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than zero. So clearly we know that 0 into 0 is 0, right? So we can have the divisor also 0, the quotient also 0, the same way as we use to do long division uh, process. Now 0 minus 0 is 0. Bring down the next period that is 0, 5. Now since this 0, 5 is after the decimal point, what we are going to do, put a decimal point in the quotient after 0. Okay, that shows that whole number part is over. All the periods related to whole number part are over. And now we are starting with the decimal part of the number. So we shall put a decimal point after 0. Right? Now we have the dividend 5 over here. Right? For which we need a divisor. We shall take the first question that is 0. And we shall double it. So 0 into 2 is 0. Put a blank over here. Or you can simply add 0 over here, the new quotient and get 0 and put a blank over here. Our dividend is 5. Now you have to think of a number what should come over here in the blank so that the number is the product which we will get is less than 5. So clearly we can keep 2 over here. 2 into 2 is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the next period 33. Now the dividend is 133 for which we need a divisor. So now take the next question 0 2. 0 2 is not nothing but 2. So 2 into 2 is 4. Keep a blank. Now what should we put in this blank? And same number will, we will get in the uh, we will keep in the question and to get a product so that it is either equal to or less than 133. So if we try with 2 42 into 2 we will get 84. 43 into 3 we are getting 129. So I think 3 is the suitable number which we can keep in this blank. Multiply by 3 which we have kept in the question. The product is 129 which is very close to 133. Now the difference is 4. Bring down the next period 61. Now we have to think of the divisor. So we shall take the next new question 0 2 3. Now our question is 0, uh, 0 2 3 which is actually 23 right or you can simply add 3 over here to get 46 or you can double 23 as you wish so 23 into 2 is 46 you can keep a blank over here now think of a number what should come in this blank multiply by the same number in the question over here also I have kept one over here can you can see over here and one over here so that we get a number oh, sorry a product which is exactly equal to or less than 461 but over here exactly we are getting 461 right so difference is 0 
now the remainder has come zero there is no more period over here left with us that means this is a perfect square number whose square root is 0.231 the question becomes the square root that means square root of 0.05361 is 0.231 okay now let us take up second part we have to find the square root of 0.005361 using long division method so we shall be following the same steps same process of long division as we have used in part 1 so over here the first digit is 0 which is also the whole number part so we can say the first period is 0 then after the decimal part we will start forming the pairs from the left hand side towards the right hand side so second period is 00 then 05 3 3 6 1 now we shall start with the long division process first period is 0 now you have to think of the largest number whose square is either equal to or less than 0 so we can say it is 0 0 into 0 is 0 difference is 0 right now bring down the next period 0 0 now since this is the decimal part we are starting with we will put a decimal point after the first question after 0 we will put a decimal point indicating that now we have finished with the whole number part and we are starting with the decimal part right now we have got the dividend 0 over here for which we need a divisor so we shall take the first question and we shall double it 0 into 2 is 0 leave a blank over here or you could have simply added 0 over here right now 0 into 0 is 0 so i think the suitable number to keep in this blank is 0 now difference is again 0 bring down the next period that is 05 now the dividend is 5 right for which we require a divisor so we will take the next question that is 00 00, 00 is the question which is actually 0 only so 0 into 2 is 0 you can or further you can add 0 just add 0 to get 0 so that way also you can get 0 leave a blank over here now think of a number what should come over here so that it is the product is either less than or equal to 5 so we can keep 2 over here because 2 into 2 is 4 which is less than 5 now 5 minus 4 is 1 bring down the next period 33 now 133 is the dividend which we have to solve right and the question now over here if you see question is 002 now 002 is nothing but 2 over here so 2 into 2 is 4 leave a blank or simply you could have added 2 over here so 2 plus 2 is also 4 now in the blank what should we keep so that the same thing we have to keep as a question so that the product is either equal to or less than 133 so if i try with 2 42 into 2 i will get 84 43 into 3 i am getting 129 which is very close to 133 so i can say that my divisor is 43 question is 3 43 into 3 is 129 difference is 4 bring down the next period 61 right now this is our 461 is our dividend for which we need a divisor now the question which we have question if you see over here we have 0 0 2 3 that means 23 that means 23 now 23 we will bring down and double it we shall get 46 or you could have simply added 3 over here to get 46 that way also you can get keep a blank over here now think of a number what should come over here in the blank same number should be our question and the product should be exactly equal to or less than 461 so clearly we can keep one over here so if we keep one over here our divisor is 461 question is 1 461 into 1 is 461 461 minus 461 is 0 so we have got the remainder 0 over here right this is our remainder 0 there is no more period left with us so we can say the square root of this number 0.00053361 is the quotient which we have got that is 0.0231 so this is the square root of this number right 
So this is it. Hope you have enjoyed the video and learned about how to find the square root of a decimal number by long division method. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a great day ahead.